Hi, this is Dan Martin with Swing the Pro. If you're somebody that struggles out of the bunkers, particularly with having a hard time getting the ball out of the bunker, you've probably been told you're not accelerating. But then you keep trying to accelerate and it just doesn't seem to work out. Well, I'm here to show you where you've got your kind of acceleration uh, idea backwards. So what people really should have told you is that you're not accelerating the club head, but the only way to accelerate the club head is to do it, or the easiest way to do it is to do it with the, with the, uh, with the laws of physics. And so I'm gonna show you using the pro and our impact reminder how that works, but I'm gonna show you in a bunker first. So typically when we're struggling with a bunker, we're trying so hard to speed up at the bottom and trying to use our hands to speed the club up, we invariably catch the sand too early and then we're trying to shove our, shove our body like that. So we hit a lot of shots that are, are kind of like that, where I just have this really like a lot of energy going down but nothing's getting the ball forward. What I want to learn how to do is kind of, I want to learn how to use the, the laws of physics by making a swinging energy, okay? So what I want to do is I want to get my arm going quickly and my body going quickly early and then learn how to put the brakes on so the club whips around my wrists and creates a lot of speed at the bottom. And so I'll show you here using, using my, my pro without a grip here and running this into the impact reminder is what I want, if I'm a if I'm bad bunker player, here's what I'm going to try to do. I'm trying to speed up at the wrong time. And as you can see, I'm not able to get this to run into the, to the target. But if I learn to speed up and then decelerate at the right time like this, then it runs right into it. So you guys, you'll, so you'll see, oh, the wind's making this tough here, there we go. So you'll see when I actually try to position that deceleration, this thing just rips in there. So that's the, that's the concept I need to have in my mind when I'm using a golf club. I want my arm to go fast and then I want to slow, I want to grip the ground and slow my arm down and really just let that thing rip my wrist or rip through, rip my wrist across the, uh, or around, or sorry, let the club head rip around my wrist. And so when I do that with a golf ball, I'm going to get a really different impact and I'm going to get a different sound. So what I want to have is the concept of this is quick and then I'm going to try to slow my arm down. I'm going to let this thing just rip on through. And when that happens, and the golf ball is going to come out with a lot of speed. So I tried to slow my arm down actually, and then let the club, let the club pull my wrist through, and boom, that thing pops out with a lot of speed. In fact, the biggest problem you might have as you learn that technique is like, wow, it's harder to hit that short bunker shot now because I have so much freedom coming through the bunker. So again, just like when I'm using the pro, I want to get energy going fast, so I load energy back here, and then learn how to let it release my wrist at the bottom. Really hard to figure out with your golf club, really easy to figure out with the pro. So get yourself a pro today and learn how to get out of this bunker.